Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do um, analysis of text. So specifically, if you want to do analysis of something like reviews, um, news stories, tickets, essentially, um, you'll be able to do an analysis of this text um, using graphics. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the data set, which um, is Disneyland reviews. And as you can see, Graphics has already automatically categorized your different variables. So you can see your different columns. So as you can see, this is, you've got a rating here, which is classified as a number. You've got your year month, which is classified as a date. And then you've got categories, you've got text, as you can see. Okay. So, um, Immediately, if you look here, you can see you've got models, you've got trends, you've got networks, but if you look at text, you can see the light bulb with the number three. This means that um, it's already customized for you for the data set that you've uploaded in three different flows. So if we go on to text here, we have topics, keywords, co-occurrence, they have already automatically been created for you. So if we went into topics, you could just click on topics, click next, and execute it, and the analysis would be done for you in a general manner. Um, equally on top of this, we have keywords. So I'll quickly explain the difference between the different types of analysis. So if we look at keywords, um, keywords will analyze the most important words and find the sam similarities most important between these terms. Um, word co-occurrence, the difference between this is instead of looking at the semantics of the words, they'll be looking at how often they appear together. Multiple text fields is just the same as topics, but it's if you've got multiple text fields, which in this, in this Disneyland reviews data set, we don't have. And, um, on predict topics, to give you a little bit of an idea, it's going to be looking for specific things that are discussed within the text fields. So maybe, and then it will categorize them together. So to give you an idea of that, maybe we've got one which is about sport. It will categorize a cluster with sport, which will be, um, you know, every text that mentions football, goalkeeper, basketball, that will be categorized together. And then maybe you've got some that are mentioning financial terms. So maybe the stock market, interest rates, loans, and they'll be categorized together. Um, but for this video, we're just going to be looking quickly at topics. So we'll go into that. Um, and as I say, you can just execute it from there most of the time. But if you can, or if you'd like to go um, more customized, you can go into edit here. So we looked a little bit into data enrichment in the social media flow. So if you'd like to learn more about that, then that would be good. And um, just look at that video. But for this one, um, data extraction text is what we're going to be looking at. So if we go firstly into data extraction, um, you can choose which variable contains the text you want to an analyze. So we've got here review text, um, but sometimes you'll have different options here if you've got more than one one column that has text in it. Sometimes it shows like, um, you know, um, you've got the review text and then you've got a different type of text and that will not analyze it for you. You just need to change between in the drop down. Um, so what information would you like to extract from the text in your data? Automatically, automatically comes up with these ones. However, maybe we don't want to extract emojis. So we can just remove emojis and um, extract sentiment if you want, extract entities, they're all there. But if we want to just add in one that's not already there, then you just add it. So there we've just added extract emojis again. Okay, so how would you like to determine the language of the text? By inferring it from the text is the most common one, but maybe there's a specific column with the language of the text. So then you could just switch to that one if you prefer to. Okay, so um, what type of keywords would you like to extract from the text in your data set? So you have proper nouns, adjectives, and nouns automatically, but maybe you'd like to add in more such as adverbs, determinators, interjections, Partic uh, particles, pronouns, you know, you get the idea. Okay, so now to look into text a little bit more. So are your text variables generally under 100 words? 
um, then you would go, yes, text are short, but maybe you're wanting to analyze a news story specifically and, you know, it's a little bit larger, so you can go no, text are long, and uh, analysis is a bit different. Um, so maybe you'd like to play between the two and see which one's best. But generally, um, most texts that we analyze are short, especially if it's reviews, etc. cetera. Um, so you just keep it as you guess, text more. Okay, so um, with that in mind, um, you, can, you can go back here, just by closing these down. Okay, so, and then you just click next. And that's you done your topic analysis and you'll find the network all created there for you in the graph form. Thanks very much.